Guess where I'm at? I'm on the app! <laughs> hey vlogs! Y'all, I just left the workshop and I'm literally on the my own! can't get in the living room Looking through my whole vinyl collection And you can teach me how to slow dance or something And I'ma give you chills harmonizing to all this ice Guess where I'm at? I'm on the app! And today is gonna be such a good day, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm on my way to this modeling workshop. I'm sure Future Selena already told you, cause as you can see, I got a little new editing style coming together. I am so excited. No, like y'all, I'm pumped. I didn't even finish my sentence. I'm so. Oh, I am so. I'm so great, talented, brilliant, awesome, amazing, cute, funny, talented, Haitian, and from Queens. It is nine o'clock and it's at ten, and I gotta go to Brooklyn, so I definitely gotta take the J to the um. I gotta take the J to the L. So we gotta go. We gotta go. Hi, I have a question. Is the J train running? Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you putting salt is gonna snow, right? Oh my, it's gonna snow. I gotta go so I can get home. Woohoo! I'm literally so happy because I'm on time, y'all. So it's gonna make the TikTok noise. <laughs> ah! I can so get it. every time it makes that noise. I'm like, whoa! Oh, that is so good. Did y'all hear me? That is good. Like, I literally was like, oh my goodness, I really hope I make it on time. But I was like, you know, you ain't got to worry, sleep. You will make it on time. But look, y'all. I made it on time. <sighs> I could really cry. I didn't even put on mascara because I knew I was going to cry. <laughs> now, millionaires, I know we're excited and I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my day because you know that's what we do. Model Millie, like, these are the beginning steps. Literally the beginning. <laughs> this is the energy that we're taking in 2024, y'all. Joy, happiness, grateful. I have a bracelet. I have a bracelet on my wrist. Wait, it's that says keep going. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to have a three hour workshop. We're going to see some models. We're going to talk to some people. We're going to meet creatives. We're just going to be in such a creative space, like surrounding yourself with the things that you want to be 2024. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> yeah, really just give you that, give you all the knowledge, give you all the resources to really just get started. So, Monifa will be your, your host for today. Hello, <laughs> Good morning. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are feeling good. I hope you guys are feeling excited about being here to not only hear from these models, hear from we speak, um, connect with each other, um, and just like have really good energy and learn and get your digis so you have something, you leave here with something, mm -hmm. you know, so you can really put your best foot forward towards the goals that you have for your modeling careers. Look like me. They don't. I mean, like, you have similar features. You may have similar things about you. you you're you not the same. You're literally not the same. It may feel like that sometimes when you're in those rooms, but literally nobody else in the room can give what you can give, period. Yeah. You're a whole different person with a whole other set of experiences, a whole other life, a whole other story, a whole other everything. Don't let yourself think that you don't have anything to offer because you literally have every single thing different to offer than anybody else that's in there.
Target duty. <laughs> Oh, she kind of, she got a license to carry all of this. Hold on. Gorgeous. Are you kidding me? Don't play with her. I love that. These are good digital. These are really, really strong. Y'all, guess who is beautiful, talented, amazing, and just had the best workshop of my entire life. Like, I'm back on the app. The snow is actually giving me life right now because you can see everyone taking their phone out to film because we haven't had a snow day in a long time. It literally just looks so pretty outside, y'all. I'm kind of obsessed. This is pretty. It's pretty outside. I just had to put my hood on, but y'all, we have not had a snow day in forever. So I'm freezing, so I'm going to call y'all when I get home. I'll call you right back. Hi, honey. I'm home. And today, let me tell you something about today. I have left that modeling workshop. Shout out to Rita. Shout out to We Speak. Shout out to the Malaika Collective. Like, y'all did the thing y'all did the thing today like i can't I, I i have so much knowledge and resources and information from just this literally three hours three hours to change the literal trajectory of my modeling career three hours jam-packed filled with a panel discussion with working models telling us about their journey and the things that they have seen in their modeling career and then the second was a digital session so we got some fresh digis by an amazing photographer after that it was just like a networking session after like all the models we got to like mix and mingle and like introduce ourselves to everyone in the room i felt like such an inviting like informational like resources were given like nobody was like no like we can't we gotta save this for the good no like everyone was literally being like raw and honest and 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 like it in a sense of vulnerability i feel like because a lot of transparency I, i'm throwing words around but follow me y'all i know you i know you get me one piece of advice that i have to share with y'all that i heard on the panel that literally touched my soul like i was actually brought to tears like hearing it i was like and it's so crazy because like i i've said it before but like to hear it from someone else and then like sh she was saying it and she like literally looked directly at me like i was like no i was supposed to hear this and that is literally to be kind and gentle with yourself and i was like and what is my goal for this year to give myself more grace and i'm gonna take it a step further and just literally just like forgive myself for any like because i'll have like mini regrets where i just be like i should have done this when i was younger i should have well you didn't well you didn't and now what you cannot go back in the past and change that. All you can do is move forward. And it's not even like a mistake. It just wasn't for you at the time that you claimed that you should have done it at. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's literally it. It's just like, it's like really just like, like forgiving yourself and just like allowing yourself to just be and grow. Like, I'm glad that I'm doing it now. I'm doing it at the age that I'm supposed to be doing it at. And that's all that matters period and just being kind with myself and she also said another word which was like parenting yourself and that really like it really touched my heart too because like i've heard that before because you know we all have our inner childs in ourselves and i don't think they ever really leave like they, they definitely don't and if they if you feel like you don't have one there's some soul surgeon that needs to be because i promise you they're there i promise you they're there and they're waiting for you honestly it literally made me think of just me now and the journey that i'm on and stuff and sometimes i could be really really hard on myself and just being like you're not doing it ever like just a whole bunch of stuff and it's just like you're literally doing everything that you can in this moment and that is perfectly fine perfectly fine and i really appreciated hearing that because sometimes in this industry you can definitely compare and another quote that i really like is like comparison is a thief of joy and sometimes comparison be thiefing it be thiefing and you can't let that happen because everyone's journey is so different and there's a lot of things that you just don't see and I've, especially in this industry and modeling and they also talked about this is that rejection is also redirection and being okay with just like knowing that you put your best foot forward you did everything that you could and sometimes the reason that you hear these no's it's so technical like it's sometimes it's not even about you it could literally just be like a shooting technicality or a shooting schedule error that they just didn't do right like it's sometimes it literally has nothing to do with you and knowing that could bring you so much peace and I'm so glad that I heard that too because sometimes you know with modeling and stuff I'll submit to these castings and I'm like I was perfect for this why didn't it pick me like her? sometimes they're just literally looking for like something super specific and it's fine because what I know in my heart what's for me will not miss me ever and I won't ever have to question that period period <laughs>
just like today like i feel like i was i was so hyped and i like literally left my house early i got there right on time i connected with the right people and i'm going to be doing some more shoots and stuff so everything is happening exactly the way it needs to and i'm so happy about that like i'm i'm really happy about that like y'all i'm really happy about that. But what jesse said and i want y'all to take it with you be patient be kind with yourself forgive yourself and always be honest always just walk into a room with your full authentic self and never settle never settle that's one thing i've learned and not even like even like i've seen like tiktok videos and stuff don't settle like if you know in your spirit like you're about to do something and it just don't feel right don't do it just don't do it like you know what i'm saying like we're in the era of saying no it's okay to say no and as a former people pleaser i learned how to say no like i'm not no i don't want to do it no sorry no thank you and you don't have to be mean about it you can just be like no i'm okay thank you though especially if it's just not serving you like as a creative as a freelancer we shouldn't be doing things that we don't want to do just for the sake of doing it like if you know that you're going to do a shoot with someone but you don't really their style of photography or their style of work just doesn't align with you don't do it like and that's and that's something that i really learned like during like my first year of doing this because i wanted to shoot with any in it right yeah yeah i'm gonna go to your shoot yeah i'm gonna do this short film yeah i'm gonna be a you don't have to pick everything like well you don't sometimes you got to weed out the, the stuff because then you do it and then like you just don't feel good after like there have been some times where i've done things i'm like they got with na one. like i don't know why i came outside for real and sometimes you have to do those things to know and learn i learned so much about modeling as well and that is to literally never give up and invest in your portfolio like shooting with photographers that are your style do you know what i mean by that i mean like finding out the things that you want to do like for example there's editorial there's commercial there's print well print and commercial are kind of the same thing and then there's like e-commerce there's like fit and stuff and so it's like knowing exactly what you want to do and finding those photographers that have that eye because i can't go to a editorial photographer for a commercial shoot because it's like two different things you know what i'm saying so like one is like target walmart cvs and then the other is like you know all the luxury high-end brands you know what i'm saying like it's two different fields because one's like and then the other's like, e <laughs> I got to connect. My light died. I got to, okay, it's okay. It's the end, of, it's towards the end of the video. So y'all see me anyway. But I really learned a lot from the creatives in the room. I learned a lot from the models, from the agents. Like, I'm so excited. Like, this journey, y'all, like, don't play with me. I am ready. These digitals that I got, y'all are going to shake when you see them. I, I, I ate like I felt so comfortable and I felt so natural. I was just like boop, boop, bloop. <laughs> like I was tearing it up. I was tearing it up. But it was the first time that I've ever just like I was like I'm ready for this. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm doing all the things. Like it's just about like now it's time to send it out. Now it's time, girl. You better send them digitals, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Once I get these back, I already have. I already have a list like I already have a list I'm just gonna see what happens for me and you already know what's gonna happen so y'all already saw my goals of 2024 list like we already know that's gonna happen and I'm gonna get representation and that's only the first step I want y'all to know that I'm ready to work but that is literally just step one because I used to think like getting signed oh yeah you gonna get booked every day no it's literally just like step one so it's like now it's like it's like getting the keys to the house now you have the keys to open the door but after that you gotta buy the furniture what is a good analogy selena like your mind special shout out to everyone that was involved everyone that i met today like i i'm gonna carry this experience with me forever and i'm gonna be talking about it all the time like in my team vogue article they're gonna be like selena do you remember the first moments of your career your modeling career i'm gonna be like yes i went to the malika collective and it was very awesome i had such an amazing time rita yes you know rita yes yes she's awesome <laughs> i hope y'all bring some sunglasses because the way that i'm about to shine the way that i'm about to shine I'm about to shine. Mm. The universe loves me. Crazy being one of the universe's favorites, y'all. I mean, but you are too. All the millionaires are. I already told the universe that. I was like, after me, put my babies on the list too. Thank you. Because, you know, we all going to do it together. So, with that being said, we have to go take this energy and go braid my hair. Because I have such an eventful week. But you already know I'm going to take y'all through that. I'm very excited. And I cannot wait to see you in the next Millie Monday. I am... I'm overjoyed y'all like I don't even know how many times I can tell you how happy I am but I genuinely like I feel it like I'm just like wow things are shaking first week of the year and I'm already making these movements oh this is my year like 2024 is for me it's for me hold on holy
Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. 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 I'm done. <laughs> I love y'all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you thought it was fun, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button so you don't ever miss an upload. Because what I tell y'all, I tell y'all that if this video is good, the next video is going to be good. And then what you think the next video is going to be? Good. Exactly. Period. And this is our year for real. I hope you wrote your goals down because you about to check every single one of them off. Bye, friends.